Sometimes it's easy to overlook the power of one simple idea. What better way to create community in the city of Maple Valley than to create a public park? Maple Valley uh, Creative Arts Council came to us with the idea of developing a neglected, uh, overlooked alleyway and turning it into a community gathering place. Creating community is a critical component of, of parks and so throughout the community of Maple Valley one of the things that we want to do is add parks uh, to our system to create opportunities and places for people to connect with each other. The Pocket Park is, is another example of where our kids can get engaged in the community and make it their own. And when you have ownership of something like our students will do with this Pocket Park, you have less problems. First of all, when I look at it today, it's pretty much just a concrete canyon. It's just bare blank walls, concrete and asphalt and garbage dumpsters. What I see with this park, it's just a great enhancement to not only the businesses, but the neighbors nearby like myself. It's an idea which builds momentum, and it's an idea which builds participation from all sectors of the community. To have something that um, actually welcomes everybody, to That's hang out, deal. to loiter. Very <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a really welcome addition to the community. The site as it is, is a very rigid, very uh, long, thin rectangle, and uh, one of the main things that we wanted from this design was something that breaks out of that and gives a feeling of a really organic and a place that you can sort of wind through and unwind in. The circular design of our labyrinth actually drove the design for the whole pocket park because the, um, the circle of the labyrinth is echoed by the circle of the ripple graphic which is on the pavement at the other end of the park and also by the circle of the rain garden. The Serpentine Path here has a hopscotch court in it, and uh, right now we're in process of cutting these squares up, making forms for them. The um, girls of uh, one of the local Maple Valley Girl Scout troops are going to be creating mosaics, which will be set in flush with the concrete when we pour the concrete. And the path that flows out of the ripple and includes the hopscotch court takes you right into the labyrinth pathway, so it's a very natural flow. A labyrinth is different from a maze. A maze is a puzzle that requires you to figure out how to get from one place to another. A labyrinth is not a puzzle. It has an entrance, it has a goal, usually in the center, and it's, um, there's a, a path that winds and surprises you and makes you feel like you're not getting anywhere and then suddenly you arrive. It's a, it's a really lovely feeling to walk one. The Arts Council essentially started with this idea, started the ball rolling, uh, but I think uh, the, the evidence of a good idea is the fact that uh, the com various sectors, all sectors of the community can get behind this idea. The Wallace Foundation was providing grants to local arts agencies to create uh, opportunities for people and communities to understand and celebrate diversity. And that's where creating a public park came to my mind. The transition program is uh, a training program for adult students with disabilities age 18 to 21 and they are out doing job training on several different locations. A lot of the schools in the Toma School District have rain gardens and we would have students that maintained and supported the rain garden at the park at Park as well. What kids say is that there aren't enough places in Maple Valley uh, to hang out to where they feel welcome where they can interact with people. A, a diverse, different type of group of students will be able to uh, uh, participate in doing murals, uh, performance art, plays. I love the idea of the open air outdoor performance space. As far as I know, there's nothing like this in the area. And this area is designed perfectly for poets, for musicians, maybe dancers. 
It's a wonderful space to bring to our community. Anything in Maple Valley that is going to give a place for young kids to be at is a good thing. You're not saying, you kids, you get over there and you do your kid things. You know, it's, uh, we're going to all do this together and everybody's welcome to be here and I think that's great. Having a variety of different types of parks in a community is critical and this Pocket Park project will be a great addition to blending the greenscape with the grayscape. This park would just again draw more people, create new habits to bring people to that shopping area. Our hope has been all along that it will be a place for reflection and renewal. It's, um, it's in a very, very accessible spot that thousands of people walk past every week. It's, it's just another piece of the fabric of the town is being knitted on there. It's just connecting everybody and making a stronger community.